Welcome to this episode of Landed Fishing. We're down in Hopedale, Louisiana. It is February, mid-February. Just come out of a cold front. We got some, uh, some really, really uh, nice weather. 70s, 80s. Just put the boat in the water. Literally just launched out. We're gonna go track out some big fish. When you get uh, to this time of year, a lot of times we see a lot of big fish show up. So we're gonna go down to the edge of the Gulf, south wind. Starting to blow a little bit, 15 to 20, and, and see what we can do. If we don't catch any big fish, we're gonna turn over to some other species and, and show you a couple other species we like to catch this time of year. Cows are biting, fish are biting. It's cows are biting, the fish are biting, <laughs> cows are eating. If the cows are eating when you come down the road, then the fish are biting. Keep pulling the Work it that way again. Huh? See, go to the motor. You gotta kind of turn him way before. Take your time. Holes in the water all of 15 seconds. Yeah. God damn. Oh, I'm gonna put this in time. <laughs> You're to horse that big boy. Good luck. <laughs> There's only about 20 more sitting out there, probably. <laughs> He's way out there. I know. He's running away. All right, so we've been here all of about 15 seconds. First ride out. Didn't even get my bait in the water and uh, hooked up on a big bull red. We know it's a bull red because of the way it's pulling. It's uh, probably 100 yards out and still spitting drag. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna get tired, all right. <laughs> oh, Ooh. I see him. Oh, yeah, you saw one look at him. <laughs> he's gonna come all the way here and then go all the way back. There's not. This might be the biggest fish I've ever caught. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Besides that tuna. Oh, yeah, besides my tuna. Jesus, they're everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Well, 15 pounder. That time around, roll down, straight up. Take your time, take your head. Straight up. Keep that head up with your gun. Try and dig it down. There you go. grab his tail if you want. Grab his tail? Yeah. So we fished that first spot and first cast, we hooked up on a fish. That's usually bad luck. Fish for another 20 minutes. I mean, as soon as the water, we hooked up on him. Fish for about another 20 minutes and not another bite. And uh, we're gonna see what happens now. That's, that's not a good sign when you catch one of the first cast. He's usually trying to throw it out and reel it up real quick and get past that first cast. But uh, that happened pretty fast. So we're heading to the second spot. I'm gonna see if we can't find some more big redfish around here. Water's super, super low. I mean, it's gotta be three foot down. You can see it on the bank. So that low water is gonna have them pushed out a little further. And we might even try and get on some slot reds. We're in an area where they got a lot of bull reds that hang out here. We got a south wind and literally the wind's blowing off the bank from us. So we're basically literally fishing on the bank, throwing away from the bank because we got real clean water and uh, pulling up at our second spot right now. It's a black, black drum there.
Yeah, last thing I'm going to do is Perfect, good job. Can't stop a fish like that. He goes in the motor. We're done. Hang on. I'm trying not to go. No, you good. <laughs> Let him run back out. He's going to wear out. Let him go. So we pull up at our next spot and uh, I broke one off as soon as we got here and down it throughout. We're hooked up. Really big fish. When you come out to fish these fish, make sure you at least have 30 pound leader. Uh, 20 pound just won't cut it. So 30 to 40 pound fluorocarbon is gonna be your best bet when fighting fish of this size, when you get into this 15 to 25 pound class redfish. Um, that's what we're running. We're running 30 today, but you can run as big as 40. That's a monster. <laughs> so big. That's a monster. <laughs> We pressure the rod tip that way. Point the rod tip to the front of the boat. There you go. That controls the head. There you go. So head turn. Yeah. yeah. Good fish. Just keep working. He's not done. Don't walk back. Always stay on the edge too. Or you can work him vertical. When he gives his head up, he's done. Until he gives his head up, he's done. That is a pig. Keep working him vertical. He doesn't want to give that head up. See it now? There you go. I want him to get energy again. So he's getting energy. Pull, pull, pull up. Pull, pull, pull. There you go. Good job. Good job. Good job. That's all you got to reel. Just keep working the vertical now. Straight up the man. He's going to come straight up. That's mine. <laughs> All right, so we're out here fishing this spot, and the tide's coming in now, and the fish is starting to bite good. We got another one on right now. She's hooked up on another one. A lot of sheephead, some drums, some redfish. What we're doing is we're fishing on the upcurrent side of the point. So we're parked on land, as you can see, and we're fishing this side of the point. The point's over there. We're fishing on this right side. So the right side of the point, the upcurrent side, is loaded with fish. Uh, this one's another drum, another black drum. I almost took the rod out of my hand. <laughs> Literally. I looked over at you, and it got tight. <laughs>
think I got the baby of it. <laughs> You want the net? You want the net? Don't worry. I'm gonna grab it. Beautiful redfish. <laughs> that was work, and that's the smallest one we've caught so far today. <laughs> that is the littlest one we can. All these fish are all catch and release today. We're hooking them, releasing them. We might go try and get on some slot fish later on to eat. But all these fish are big, healthy fish, breeding fish that we're gonna let live another day. And in the cool waters, they go pretty quick. This time, I already get out my hand before I can get them up. <laughs> See ya. Yeah. Hey, you have a good time. Turn this out good. There you go, he turned. He got that stuff off. There you go, it's a good turn. Because he turned him right in time. Right in time. Go straight up and down. Oh. Straight up and down. Right around. Got him. Come around to me. Oh. Big old redfish. Whew. So in the process of catching these redfish, we've been catching a bunch of sheephead. Bull reds, which we've been releasing, and the sheephead, we've kept a few to eat. If this is a really big sheephead, probably gonna release him, because we got enough for dinner. I think it is. We don't need too many more. Yeah, it's a nice sheephead. Yeah, he's a... Nice little sheep head. I'm probably gonna keep, because he's not that big, I thought he was bigger than he was. Fish are starting to bite a lot. I'm probably gonna keep one more that gives us three of them. And that's all we need for dinner. Be careful with these sheep head. The spines on them are nasty. The gill plates on them are very, very sharp. Those plates on the sides of them are very sharp. Pull it, pull it this way, pull it to the front back of the boat. 
It'll be good. Is it sheep head? Yeah, it is. Sheep head. <laughs> sheep head. We got dinner. <laughs> Straight up. Straight up. Beautiful sheep head. Hooked another one. I think this one's a bull red. I don't think I got a sheep head this time. He was spitting drag. When I set the hook, it was like dead weight. Like I stuck the bottom. Might be a bull drum too. Might be a bull drum. Cause he's not really, he's just dead weight. He's not really getting any runs out of him. Go with the big bull drum. The redfish is gonna shot. He's gonna make a run when he gets to the boat if he's a redfish. Silver gray tail. Exactly what we thought it was. Bull drum. Had that distinct pull.
big massive bull drum if you want to get out and catch big fish louisiana in the winter time is where it's at these big hardy fish are biting they always do every year great sport fish catch and release catch a couple eaters in the met process and just massive fish all right so i'm gonna go over what we use today kind of a simple setup we went real simple we got like a 25 mile an hour wind so we didn't try and troll or anything like that we're using reaper rod seven foot six on a 2500 stratic reel with 20 pound test now i'm going to recommend that you go up to 30 pound test when you're fighting big fish like this and fishing for fish that are 20 30 pound class uh, these are just my setups you can get away with it but don't over tighten your drags so it's a seven foot six medium heavy fast action rod and then we ran popping corks okay and one thing i'm gonna tell you about these popping corks is this cork had a lot more success than the round corks today when you're fishing real aggressive big fish, you're gonna use a cupped cork. A cupped cork is gonna give you better uh, pops and more aggressive pops that are gonna attract those big fish. Below that, we ran a three foot fluorocarbon leader. Okay, 30 pound test. You can get away with 20 again, but 30, 40 is the way to go. And then we used a black nickel shank hook, eighth ounce and quarter ounce, it didn't matter. Black nickel shank hook. Uh, that's designed for this that will not bend over. These are made by uh, Death Grip. A uh, local guy makes them here, work great. Uh, that's the setup we use. We went simple with it. You can take the same setup and put a three inch grub on it or something like that and pop it really hard and get the same results. It's just we want to catch the sheep head and everything else in the drum and everything else with it. You won't catch that if you use plastics. You won't get those drum bites as much. You won't get those sheep head bites for sure. So that's our setup today. We smoked the fish. It's a lot of fun. Can't wait to do it again. February and big fish, cool weather and big fish is a lot of fun.